What's up you guys, Josh here with the Go Kaokan channel, and today we're going to be unboxing the Mamba Monster X with the 2200 kV motor, 1515 motor. We're going to install this into the Typhon. We've already gotten rid of the Spectrum system that was in here. We're going to run with this censored combo, and if you use the 2200 kV motor, you can run up to 6S LiPo for vehicles weighing up to 15 pounds. This is, I believe, just under 10 or just under 11. We're also going to install the castle motor fan. This will fit perfectly on this motor. We're going to swap out that fan for this Yeah Racing fan. As long as the thickness isn't too big, I have to take a look at that. But let's go ahead and get all of this unboxed and then installed into the vehicle. Now this is a very similar setup to what is in the Max. The Traxxas Max because I've upgraded that to a 2200 kV motor as well. Same motor as this one, but this is going to have the stronger ESC. What's in the Max is the Mamba X. This is the Mamba Monster X. So, all right, this is already open. Quick setup guide, foam sensor wire, and then the motor and some extra screws there so we've got that Let's move this out of the way and now for the mamba monster now this is the first mamba monster that i've had so this will be all new for me but should essentially be the same setup you got our power wire here got to solder on our connectors looks good And looks like we're running, looks like 10 gauge wire. I don't see it labeled here, but yeah, that definitely looks 10 gauge. All right, so there's that. And then we've got the plug to run its sensor. So we're gonna have to remove this little tab here and plug that in. All right, so let me get all of this soldered up. I'll get the connector solder on, the fan mounted, make sure that that fan actually fits, get it mounted on the motor, and then everything installed in the vehicle. And then we'll go out and drive it. All right, you guys, so it took me a little while, but the build is done. So let me go ahead and show you what I've done here. I've got the Castle 2200 1515 motor in, same motor that I put in my Traxxas Max when I did the 6S upgrade. What's different is this has the Mamba Monster X, where the Max has just the Mamba X. So this ESC is good for buggies, monster trucks, on-road vehicles weighing up to 15 pounds, and it can run 6S. That is with the 2200 kV motor. If you run, I think it's the 2650, you can only do 4S with the CSC. But we're running the 2200, so we can do 6S. I, I really didn't want to use these Traxxas connectors, but I didn't want to swap over the other connectors that I have on the other ESC, which is Traxxas Max, the smaller Max, with the Mamba X. And the same batteries are going to be used in both vehicles. So um, I went ahead and just put the Traxxas ones on. You know, it is what it is. They should have enough amps. Um, it, it's run fine in the Max. And when I had it in the old Traxxas Bandit, when I had the Bandit running on 6S, um, ran fine in there, should run fine here. The other thing is instead of the stock motor or stock fan that comes in this castle motor fan housing the max has the stock fan that comes with this for in here i connected the yeah racing fan it was a little bit tall but i was still able to zip tie it down no issues there got all of the wires here's the sensor wire for the motor that's in a wire loom the fan wire just from here to here in a wire loom and then the rest of the way i did have to extend the length of the fan wire to reach here but you know that's no big deal and then all of the wires, of course, they pass right under here. They're zip tied. I'll take the camera off and get in real close so you guys can see that. The 16 tooth pinion that came off the stock motor, I ran into some issues getting it to fit on the castle one. I think it's just some defects in the burr. So this pinion is actually two teeth bigger. This is an 18 tooth with the stock, uh, whatever size the stock spur is. So it should be a little bit faster, but with this fan and this ESC running as cool as it does, we should be okay. The only thing I don't like is where this switch is mounted. I've got it mounted to 
the motor wire retention clip here. I wanted it somewhere. That I know that some of the ESCs from Castle Practical Proto Solutions has a couple mounts for these. I haven't looked up to see if he makes a mount underneath this fan shroud for this one. But either way, I think this works out you know, just fine. If I ever wanted to, I could just cut this off and solder those two wires together so that as soon as I plugged in the batteries, the ESC would turn on. But sometimes I like having a switch, especially with these Traxxas connectors. With them being open like that, when you connect it without a switch, they do spark pretty bad on you. Anyways, let me take the camera off and come in a little bit closer so you guys can see. All right, last thing real quick before we go out and drive it, you guys can see just the fitment here of these wires. With the other Spectrum system, the wires were just so long that I really couldn't figure out a way to mount everything up. With the old Spectrum system in here, I really had to plan on where I was gonna put the batteries because they were so tall and in the way. But with this, I can just put it on, plug the batteries in, pop the body on, and just push it down and you can see it's got no issues with fitment whatsoever. Everything stays clear of the motor gears, as you can see. And with that pushed down, you know, it's blocking the fan a little bit, but it's really not gonna do uh, too much of an issue, especially with the opening here in the back. Whether it's pushing air towards the motor or pulling it away, these wires being here is really not gonna impact that at all. I can even just make sure that these are pushed over to here. And really, I can slide this down and clip this right in here. And there, now it really stays out of the way. Really clean, guys, really clean. All right, cool. Let's track it to the left. So let's fix that real quick. Those brakes are strong. Whoop. Lots of power. <laughs> Good Lord. Wah, wah. <laughs>
Dang. All right. Wow. <laughs> Woo All right, so this thing actually jumps pretty well. No backflips or anything, but pretty stable and it's a pretty good lander. So really happy with it. All right, you guys, so I think that is a successful build. Really, really fun RC, definitely one of my favorites. So if you guys wanna see more on the Typhon 6S with the Castle system, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment. Hit like on that video and subscribe for more content like this. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.